And with the baby coming soon, I'm all up for a quick sale. Oh, my God, David, it's like something out of Scooby-Doo. In a good way, I mean. Oh, I know it needs a bit of work. But... Well, I'm sure that'll be reflected in the price. Price? I'm selling up, you. Oh, I haven't even seen the place yet. This is my friend Flavio from hairdressing college days and his partner David. They've decided to open up a gastro pub. Destination restaurant, dog. <laughs> Would you believe it? Uh, Anne Marie, can I have a word? Just a couple of seconds. Like Look, whatever they offer, if they offer, I'll talk. Oh, they'll offer all right. When Flavio gets an idea in his head, it's a passion. He's married money, just like you, you and only he can get his hands on it. So how come you've suddenly managed to persuade Sadie to move out, eh? Well, if she wants to spend time with her first grandchild, she'll have to spend time with me. And I'm moving to Edinburgh, aren't I? Couldn't we work something out? We could, if you had cash. Oh, come on. We meant something to each other once. You said it. Once. Which means they'll resume dragging the lock. You better get down there, Josie. Check it out. Okay. It might still be too dangerous for the divers. It has been battling it down for weeks. I never thought I'd pray for more rain. Oh, look, we haven't got enough to even get us to Fort William. It doesn't matter, does it? Emery's agreed to pay us early if we suck up to our guests. Then we can pack up and go. Well, go where? We still haven't got any passports. And even if we did have, a month's wages from this place isn't going to get us very far. It'll buy us petrol and ferry tickets to Belfast. From Barbados to Belfast. Some dream, hey? I can't believe we used to have three million quid and now we're working for that smug face, huh, Marie? She only kept us on because she enjoys watching us slog our guts out for her. She kept us on because she wants to flog the hotel as a going concern. We just have to put up with her till she hands over our wages and then we're home free. <laughs> OK, lads, let's take it easy, yeah? The currents will still be fierce after all the rain. Boss! OK, Ronan, it's a big loch. I want you to be as specific as possible. Where did you dump Billy's body? Over there somewhere. Oh, where's the rest of my staff? Having a late lion. What, in that van? They're probably scrabbling over each other to get to the sink. I gave him the option, Mum. Yes, at the going rate for guest rooms. It's a business I'm running, not a charity. <laughs> I missed you. Yeah, we won't have to for much longer, will you? Picking the keys up at lunchtime. Yeah, the girls must be dead <laughs> jealous living in that tin shack. Well, well, they don't know anything about it yet, do they? Well, why not? We don't want them asking us for a room for the night. No, this is the start of our new life together. Don't want anyone else in on it. Won't they notice you've gone? Uh, I'll tell them later. Look, if you think I'm rushing you into this... No, I'm the one who found the cottage, didn't I? I just hope you don't feel that I rushed you into it. I know you've got a lot on your mind at the moment. That's exactly why I need you. Shoo! As soon as I'm done here, we'll go and check it out, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you are. Your breakfast nearly ready. About time. You did say 8.30. Oh, well, my friends arrived early. Like that's half up. It will be your fault if today doesn't go perfectly. Well, you can count on us. Oh, good. Because I want to lay on something impressive for them. Oh, well, there's some lovely game around at the moment, and, um, and seasonal veg. Great! Oi! Oh, no. I'm afraid you'll have to feed yourselves later. The boys are just freshening up after their journey, and I want you all ready to show us off by the time they get down. Ellie, there's fungus in the Burns Room, Lou, that needs cleaned off. 
You can get that animal out of here for a start. Have you never heard of a please and thank you? Come on, Ash, let's yes, go. and that's why you'll be saying to my guests and I if you want paying early. Your guests will be impressed, don't worry. Just keep her out of the way, right? Because Flavio and David don't take to gobby slappers. Well, they're friends with you, aren't they? Just do as she asks. Yeah, well, I am doing, aren't I? She don't want me here, and I have got better things to do with my time. Ashamed of the way she keeps bossing everybody about. It's not for much longer. I tell you, if we weren't completely broke, the last person I'd be working for is Anne Marie. She keeps on and on at me about moving in with her and the baby. Oh, I don't know how you can stomach it the way she uses that baby like some kind of weapon. Oh, well, I can't pretend it's easy. And she is my daughter, and. and it is my grandchild. Come on, Sadie. You know, we can't stay here. Not with Maris's body in the lock. No, oh, I know, I know. Besides, wouldn't you rather be dancing with us on some Caribbean island than dancing to Anne Marie's tune? <laughs> David, Flavio, this is my mother, Sadie. How did you do? Look at her waistcoat. Straight out in Nashville or what? And this is our chambermaid. OK, come on, let me show you around. When do we leave? First thing tomorrow. Hiya. How are you doing? What's going on? What's up? You sure it was here? I figured the currents were stronger when it opens up. I was banking on them getting swept out to sea, so it'll never be found. for you. You OK? Getting by better than when I was lying. Any luck, Chief Inspector? Oh, not yet. It's early days. How long will you search, you know, before giving up? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, eh? For everyone's sake, eh? Hey? We won't find the body. It's been washed out to sea. Well, you've got to want them to find him soon as, though, yeah? Ronan? Ronan! You better go. Yeah, but... Thanks for looking after him. It's been the only thing getting me by right now. Knowing that he's in safe hands. Let me through, that's my son. Ronan, are you all right? Ronan, son. How are you doing? Not bad. Good. I mean, look past the decor, obviously, but I mean, check out the space, the location. Doesn't it just scream destination restaurant? Oh my God, yes! Let's not jump the gun, Flavio. We've only just got here. Destination restaurant? What's all this? Destination. A place you go to. Restaurant. A place you eat in. Oh, bless. It's new concept dining. You wouldn't have a clue. 